Hi guys, Binary here. Um, we're going to be setting up our project in this tutorial. Um, so pull open your Unreal Editor. Select New Project. We're going to create a blank project and name it Sign Tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. Just remember to include starter content so that we have some uh, materials and stuff available for us and then just go ahead and create the project let everything copy over and she'll start right up for you so we're in our typical scene here our typical starter content scene uh, we don't need any of this we're going to start from a pretty much blank slate so let's go through here and delete all these things we won't need a player start uh, we won't need that lovely sound every time we play. And the rest of it we can keep. So first things first, let's make a playing ground that we can use here. We'll make it 2000, 2000, we'll make the wall thickness 0, but we'll make the Z 10. So it's just basically like a little plane. And what we'll do here is we'll give it a material so that it looks cool. So select the mesh and then hit Shift B to select everything. Go into um, materials. You can select whichever one you want. I'm going to choose concrete grime, and we'll apply that to everything. Your shaders may need to compile. Um, mine don't. And now we have a lovely textured brush. So move this in a bit. And now we can actually begin creating our sign through brushes. Uh, so we'll create another box like this, but this time we'll make it, let's say, 10 by 10, and we'll make it about 50 high. So go in to where it created it, pull it up, and then hit end, and it'll pull it right down to the mesh below it. And then we'll just hit alt, and pull up so that we can duplicate it and we'll just increase the Y to 50. Actually, you know what? Let's do 100. Oops, that's not Y at all. We'll leave that at 10. Or we'll leave that at 50, sorry. And we will do 100 this way. No, let's do 75. There we go. 75 looks better. Click on that again. Hit N to bring it down to the top of that mesh. And now we have a concrete sign. So let's change that and we'll do the same thing we did before. And we will select the mesh, hit Shift B to select everything around it. And we'll use wood pine for this one. So we'll apply that material. For good practice, let's select the one below it and then apply that material too. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn this into a static mesh. So we'll select both of these points, or the po both of these meshes, and we'll pull them and pull down this menu here under brush settings, and then create static mesh. It's going to send you into an unsorted folder, but what we'll do is we'll do bsp to mesh slash sign mesh. And I apologize if anybody doesn't like mechanical keyboards. Um, I enjoy them thoroughly. <laughs> so, um, I'm not going to apologize again. <laughs> so we'll double click. Uh, as you notice, we have invalid m light map settings because we converted it. Um, as far as I know, this is a bug, what we're about to fix, uh, from what I was able to uh, pull out from the interwebs. And what we'll do is we'll go into LOD0, we'll go to build settings, we'll use full, let's pull this up here, we'll use full precision UVs on it and we'll hit apply changes. And what we're also going to want to do here, let's just kick this up to 64 for the sake of it. We'll hit save, pull over back into the map, and we should be able to build this and get lighting casting on our lovely newly made sign. And yes, this is what happens. It's, um, we have weird lighting on it now. Because um, if I pull this back here, 
Oops. So I pull this back into this area and let's rebuild the lighting. That's actually much better. So we'll actually put this off to the edge here and we'll build lighting one more time. That is good enough for me. So now that we have a sign, we'll pull it off in the middle here. You can put the sign wherever you'd like. Uh, we'll create a blueprint from it so that we can give it a class that it will uh, pull actions from and stuff like that. But actually, you know what? Let's make, let's give ourselves the ability to interact with this sign. We'll make ourselves a character class. Actually, we'll make ourselves a game mode class first. Because we need this to tell um, tell the engine about our custom, what we want our uh, game to act like um, if we want custom uh, characters and HUDs and stuff like that. So we'll just do um, sign tutorial game mode create that class yes we'd like to uh, edit the code now so we can pull up Visual Studio it will generate our project files for us and this is probably going to parse a whole bunch of header files so we will go in here and we'll set up our inputs for now. So go to edit at the top left, uh, project settings, go into input and we're going to do an action mapping because we don't actually need a value for what we're doing. So we'll go into action mappings, we'll click a new one, we'll set it to uh, use, that'll be the name that we, uh, we bind it to, that thing bugs out. And we'll use the typical key of E, and we'll set that as the default. So now, when we hit E, it'll send a use um, event name, I guess you can say, to the input component in which we will um, complete the mapping in a second. See, it's going to parse a whole bunch of stuff, so we will just make a blueprint out of this sign uh, for now. So we'll go to Blueprints, we'll create a new blueprint by right-clicking where there's open space. You can also do New Blueprint. Uh, and we will... Actually, we need to make a class for that, sorry. So we'll make it out of the actor class because it doesn't really need to be possessed by anything, but we do need to put it in the scene. So we'll call it sign. Really original. Create that class. Might go a bit slow because of all the parsing that's happening. No, we don't want to edit the code anymore because when we open Visual Studio, we can just hit reload and it will reload our loveliness. I'm using um, the Visual Studio um, Visual Studio Editions extensions, uh, so I can actually go up here to where it says UE4 and click as my startup project sign tutorial. This is actually really helpful because then you don't have to. Oops, then you don't have to um, do what I'm about to show you. I apologize for this uh, going slow. This is what happens, unfortunately, um, when it's parsing. So we'll wait for that, I suppose. There we go. And then we'll go up to where it was up before. and we'll go down to sign tutorial. 
What you can also do is you can go to your sign tutorial project in Visual Studio and you can right click that. If you don't have the uh, Unreal um, additions and you can do uh, set as startup project which would also do the same thing so while this is parsing I'm going to end this video here because we have set up our project we have created our sign we have created the classes that are going to run our sign and we will start writing code um, in the next tutorial we'll see you there